Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to enroll your existing Windows 10 computer that may or may not be compatible with Windows 11 in the extended security updates program to continue receiving security updates even after Microsoft ends support of the operating system on October 14, 2025. Now, to access the program, you have three options. You can use the Windows Backup Approach, you can use the Microsoft Rewards Program, or you can simply pay the $30 for the service. Okay, first we need to open the settings app. and then go to Update and Security, then go to Windows Update. So here are the requirements to enroll your computer into the Extended Security Updates program. First, you will need to have a computer running Windows 10. It doesn't matter if it is compatible with Windows 11. That's not something in question here. Second, you will have to have version 22H2 installed on the computer with the latest updates already applied. Also, you must be signed in with a Microsoft account linked to your Microsoft account. If you're using a local account, you will be prompted to sign in with a Microsoft account because the extended security updates program product key is actually linked to your Microsoft account. Now, when the option is ready for your computer, then you will notice the enroll option right here, but it can also appear on the right navigation pane. So to start, click the Enroll Now option. On the first page, you have some information about the program and when Windows 10 support ends, then click the Next button. As you can see right here, the system has detected that I am already backing up my Windows settings to the cloud using the Windows Backup app. And because that's one of the options, it already picked that up and it's just letting me enroll the computer by using that option. However, if you're not using the Windows Backup to upload your files to OneDrive, you will have the option to enroll using the Microsoft Rewards program. And that will require you to redeem a thousand points. So this is one of my accounts. And right now I have more than enough. So if I didn't have the Microsoft 365 subscription, I will have the option to redeem the points. So if you never use the Microsoft Reward program, you can just sign in at rewards.bing.com. And then when you sign up, you will have to complete the different quest to earn different amount of points as you can see right here and this change daily but if you want you can download for example the Bing app on your mobile device and right then you will get 500 points once you get the 1000 points you can redeem them and then you can uninstall the app and the third option is actually to pay for the service now because I'm already backing up my data to the cloud I only have this option but if the system didn't detect any of the requirements on your computer then on the Windows update page when you click that enroll now button you will get a screen like this and from here you can choose the option that you want to use to enroll your computer then when selecting the option that you want to use you just need to click the next button and continue with the on-screen directions to complete the enrollment now this is my case so i'm just going to click the enroll button And that's it, that is all there is to it. Now we just click the done button and now your computer will continue to receive updates after October 14, 2025 for another year until October 13, 2026. It is important to know that after you enroll your computer, you will only receive important security updates, just enough to keep your device in data secure and supported. This program won't offer new features or improvements. Also, Microsoft will continue to provide updates for the Microsoft Defender antivirus. You will be able to continue to use your Microsoft 365 apps and they will continue to receive updates. However, if you continue using Windows 10, the apps won't receive new features. Now, if you're wondering when this option will be available on your computer, well, on June 24, 2025, Microsoft opened the extended security updates enrollment for Windows 10 through the Windows Insider program. Then throughout July 2025, the company will continue to expand the enrollment outside of the Windows Insider program. Finally, by mid-August 2025, everyone will have the option to enroll for free to the extended security program. Well, when I say free, I'm just referring to the options that you can redeem your points and using the backup option. Of course, you will have to pay for a subscription if you don't want to use the backup option or the points. If you don't have a Microsoft 365 subscription, you can still use the free version of OneDrive that offers five gigabytes of space. But if you have a lot of data, you know that five gigabytes is not going to be enough for backing up your data. However, one thing that you can do, it's on the backup app, just make sure to select the folder with the least amount of data to sync 
to the cloud. And you can do that from the OneDrive settings and going to the Manage Backup page. And that should work in theory. Now, what happens when the support for Windows 10 ends? Well, when the support ends, it means that your computer will no longer receive any type of updates and you won't be able to contact Microsoft for technical support. However, the day after the support ends, you will continue to have access to your computer and everything will continue to work the same. Actually, on October 14th, 2025, that's when the company is going to release the last security update for Windows 10. However, as time goes on, performance will start to get impacted, vulnerabilities will, will begin to appear, and you might also encounter more compatibility problems with applications. So should everybody use the extended security updates program? Well, that depends. Microsoft is only offering this program to help users to have more time to get a new computer or to upgrade the system to Windows 11. Now, if your computer is compatible with it, it is recommended that you upgrade as soon as possible. I do have a video on how to do this, so check the video description. Now, if your computer is not compatible with Windows 11, you can either purchase a new computer, which it might not be an option for everyone. And in that case, you can also try to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. I also have a video tutorial on how to do that, so check the video description. And that's it. That is how you enroll your Windows 10 computer to the extended security updates program to continue receiving updates throughout 2026. Let me know in the comments if you will be using this option or if you plan to upgrade to Windows 11 or you will be in the market to purchase a new device. Also remember to like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.